as an auxiliary generator. It's, uh, it's very, very powerful. Again, there it is. Okay, I've fired this baby up off camera because sometimes it takes two or three minutes for the uh, gyro to actually sync with the pulse motor, so I spared you that, that extra time on the video. It's already too long. But uh, I've got a little bit of input coming in right now. It's just 12 volt input just to because otherwise it's just these three uh, cap modules back here in the back. Uh, I don't think I showed you that, but you can kind of see them. Anyway, so uh, you know we can unplug the, the input and just run on the caps and it's kind of cool that way and it will run for for a pretty pretty decent amount of time but uh, I want to show you here the switch over here now this is on the fixed resistors and uh, when I flip this switch up now it's on the potentiometer and watch I can adjust it I gotta be really careful I can adjust it down to you know 50 milliamps if you want to run this thing at that talk about not using much power and still being able to generate it this thing is just beyond what you can imagine but uh, crank it up to one amp take it up higher I mean I can take it to three amps but I don't want to waste the, the energy this thing will go uh, I think it's about a one and a half amps it uh, it'll crank up to close to a thousand rpm so you've got the ability to take it up fast if you want but uh, but I, I prefer the uh, the Schumann frequency over anything else, and, and you probably will too, you'll see.